I'm Professor Joan Cadell from School of Computing Intelligent Systems on the McGee campus of Ulster University. And I created the eCareWell project in 2021. So we applied for a community renewal fund. Our aim is to understand how Northern Ireland digital technologies can best meet the needs of Northern Ireland carers in our communities. We want to support carers' mental and physical health and well-being. Informal care providers are the backbone of the care system, whether we like it or not. Uh, you know, looking after a loved one, whether it be a child, a partner or a parent, that family duty that one has is, is hugely important and it is because they're not paid, they're not recognised and they're not valued. But actually take them out of the equation and society isn't going to work very well. So it is really important that we develop products and services for them uh, to help them provide care. What problems do they, do they face? Is it education? Do they want more skills about looking after their loved one? Or is it uh, respite? You know, they need a break from looking after their loved ones because, you know, if you're looking after somebody with, you know, dementia, that could be a full-time job seven days a week. And getting that rest from that somehow is hugely important. And then just networking with other people, those social networks you can lose again if you're looking after somebody who's got 24-7 needs. Getting out with your friends, going to the pub, restaurant, playing football, whatever it is you used to do in your life can be taken away from you and your social network reduces and, you've, and you have no contribution with them. So just understanding how to make their lives better, how to support them, how to take the weight off them from time so they rem remain providing care um, for their loved ones as long as possible or as long as they're capable of doing it, I think is hugely important and it's frequently just ignored because it's, it's free, it's not measured, um, there's no performance metrics. You know, if you have a job and you're paid, then there's performance metrics and here are the things you should do and there's targets you should reach. But when it's informal and unpaid, those things don't really exist. Um, so it's important to recognise the contribution and provide support, digital and non-digital. We are recruiting 170 carers. We have 19 Northern Ireland medtech companies as partners. We get the medtech companies' technology into the carers' homes. We train the carers and then we support the carers as they use those technologies. So the aim here is that the technologies support the carers in their role to reduce the carer burden over time. And essentially, I try and handle the on the ground aspects to getting the tech out to the carers and troubleshooting any issues that arise and uh, working with the companies to get the best experience for the carers. Their local SMEs uh, developing technology to aid carers in their tasks and in their daily lives, whether that's to reduce stress or to facilitate communication or to record memories. Uh, at a whole range of, of things that we have we've been offering out. I think this project, this eCare Well project, has highlighted for me in my local community the amount of time that people spend each day caring, whether informally for neighbours or for an immediate relative. It's been that range of people, you know, I suppose a, a Oftentimes you think of people looking after an older relative, but actually when you start looking at the broad range of people who use our services for other things, and that could be for an art class or a knitting class or a sewing class or something like that, but they're also carers. So I think there's probably a lot of different items of technology within this project which will help different carers out in different ways.